Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Will It Survive in Equestrian. Today we are going to be testing out the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer. And this is the newly released brow pencil from Maybelline. So I'm going to put it on. We're going to see how it works and see how it lasts throughout the day as I go to my riding lesson and see how it stands up against the elements, wind, rain, sweat, dirt, everything like that. So as always, out of literally a billion other YouTube creators out there, thank you so much for choosing to watch me test out a brow pencil today. Be sure and give this video a like and subscribe to see more of me in the future. I also have a second channel, Alice in Adventure, which is where I post my food fun lifestyle type of videos. If you want to see that, I will leave that linked for you down below. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Cantering Gorgeous. If you want to see my fabulous photos, things that I post and things that I'm up to. So let's get on with the video. So this is the brow defining pencil. It's in very like kind of pinky corally packaging. It's really pretty, um, but it's just plastic packaging. This is going to cost about six to eight dollars. I got mine for right under seven. I have the shade medium brown. They have three other shades, blonde, soft brown, and deep brown. So if you have auburn hair, or if you have really dark hair, black eyebrows, there's not going to really be a match, so that is kind of unfortunate. Maybelline says you can shape and define, define with the point of the pencil, and then fill with the teardrop. If you look at it, it's a little teardrop shape. And then at, for the spoolie, we have this tiny little fluffy ball of a spoolie. And I was most like kind of curious about that because it's so tiny. I feel, and I feel like it works completely fine. So primarily I just use a pencil to fill in my brows. I don't really use pomades. I just feel like since my eyebrows are so large already, that would really, really be intense and really be a lot. Until I'm more comfortable with the size of my eyebrows, I just use a pencil. So I'm gonna take the pointed tip first and kind of like, I don't, I don't know, I'm gonna use it upside down. Okay, so this is what one eyebrow looks like compared to the one that hasn't been filled. I think it looks actually like it filled pretty good. I am a little bit concerned though. Medium brown might be a little bit red and I like to use a more natural, a more neutral brown, but we will see what it looks like throughout the day. It works pretty good, I think, but maybe the pencil is a little bit stiff. Other than that, I don't really have any complaints. I think it worked just fine. I think the spoolie blends out just fine. I'm going to set, set my eyebrows with a little bit of gel just to make sure they really stay in place all day. Like I've maybe talked about in other Will It Survive videos, I don't do a whole lot of makeup on a real day. Like if I wear any makeup to like a writing lesson, it will be eyeliner and mascara, a lip product, and I will do my eyebrows just because I think everyone's eyebrows frame and shape their face nicely. Whoever it is, it makes you just kind of look a little bit more put together, but you work, took a little bit of time and worked on a main feature of your face. Okay, it is currently 7.54 in the morning. I need to leave in a couple of minutes to my riding lesson. I'm going to be riding a little Arabian. I will take you along with me and we will see how these, this eyebrow pencil holds up throughout the day. Hey Sam. Where are we going?
Okay, so I am back. It is a little past noon. Here's what the eyebrows look like. Still look pretty good. Going to eat some yogurt and watch a lesson, and I will see you at probably at the last check-in. It is currently 4.25 in the afternoon. Okay, so I am back from my riding lesson. I think my eyebrows held up really, really well throughout the day. Um, The only part that I can kind of see right here, maybe, it kind of melted away a little bit. Maybe there's like a crumble from the tail, like right here. Other than that I think it looks um, really passable really good still so this brow pencil has been on for about eight hours I want to say and I mean today we was back to like it's our hot weather here you just sit ringside and bake in the sun all afternoon. So I definitely like had some heat, had some sweat to contend with. Also like, you know, your sunscreen, if your sunscreen kind of melts away, it could get in your eyebrows. It did not melt or anything at all. I was kind of like concerned that it was not going to last all day, but I think it held up really, really well. So the main question is, did it survive an equestrian? Yes, it did. It lasted really well, kept my brows looking really nice and big. So I would recommend if you're looking for just a very basic brow pencil, this would probably work really well for you if you can find a shade that matches you. Yes, I think the point um, of the teardrop shape maybe helps you draw it out a little bit better, but I don't you know, really see what difference that even makes compared to a skinny pencil. So I think that is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you next time. Bye.